I've uh, been liking their singles that came out for this album. Uh, Kin Kintsuge is probably my favorite of the singles. Um, so the album is The Cycles of Trying to Cope. Looks like we have 11 tracks here. Um, so it looks like it was, I think, just one, two, three, four singles, um, which I believe we took them all on stream. Um, it's been a while since I've gone through all of these um, singles, but uh, I will be liking this so far because um, I don't remember them too much. So I guess it'll be good just to go all the way through. So uh, it is a 40-minute album, so it's kind of lengthy. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's check this out. Angels Weep is the first song. Let's go. How you guys doing on this fine Saturday? Sick high. Drums are going crazy. Starting out strong already. Great first song. Ertine Trigger is next. I remember liking this one. Okay, I don't know why it was going to uh, my cue there. That's
love that toll. This is such a nice, like, pitchy screams, like, so good. Fuck. Like, the way he, like, screams and sings at the same time is pretty cool. And then Slayer, too. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good single. Uh, not my favorite. I we like the other one better, but okay. I've heard this one. What? Not vibes. Ooh. Oh, fuck <laughs> Fucking solid.
jump bills are quite something. Jeez. song is very dynamic. I like that a lot. Mm hmm. If they keep up the pace with that. Right? Just like amazing bridges. Ah, oh, nice drop off. Repetitive though, but it works at the same time. Damn. 
pretty good so far. All right. This is sort of the BA. This was another single, I believe. Looking at the play time. a good start yeah man I, I think I'm like liking the other non-singles more which happens a lot for me <laughs> this one's very bendy though like in a trap song or something there. This is just like classic chorus right here. Hey, Pat, yeah, but glad you're liking it. pattern up, 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 up. yes yeah, pretty good pretty good pretty good so next up we angry
the heaviest one so far no is to die oh shit maybe not Crazy with the blast beats there. Jesus Christ. this drummer is doing though, it's crazy. <laughs> I don't know if he was like new to this album or not, but damn.
Pretty good, pretty good. Probably not my favorite song. But this one. This one was my favorite single, so let's see if it holds up to the rest. This, I don't know, this was just so, like, cinematic when I first heard it. Still holds up. <laughs> Such a great song. God damn that this this song made me fall back in love with them. I was already a big fan, but this song just did. Alright. What is something I don't know? Anything that once helped.
also has like Egyptian vibes with the uh, guitar there. I'll get this one away. All right. That Cyrome is next. Our last two.
good. Pretty good. Last song. What do we see when we leave this place? Tell me. Tell me. What do we see? Could it be a light? Could it be darkness? I don't know. The Father's Okay. Oh, kind of scares you when it pans like that. What the fuck? I guess it's more noticeable if you're wearing headphones. But it's so weird. Same kick pattern as the summoning, really? Ooh. Like at the breakdown? Oh, okay. The so with the little squealing and the and the panning? Or yeah. Some great production choices. That'll do it for the cycles of trying to cope. Uh, pretty good album. Pretty good album. Um, they're they're so throughout the whole album. I'm I've realized. I mean, like Muscle Flames kind of does this a lot, where it's like sort of the same patterns over and over again. But a lot of them worked here. Uh, a few of them just like kind of just meh. Like like these two just kind of kind of meshed together. It's it was kind of just meh for me. But the rest of them pretty good pretty good actually um like what the i forget what his name is but the vocalist like really exceeds in you know like the the really nice big big choruses with his you know it has a really nice voice uh with the cleans and like mixing with the screaming uh, a lot of it is layered though but um he does very well in like having like these pitched you know yelling type screams i guess i don't know what, what it's called like the mixes like fry and something else with it i don't know how it works but it sounds good it sounds good that's all we care about um so yeah vocals were great guitars fuck fucking a man those riffs some of those riffs are so like just memorable and 
just groovy um love that um shout out to the drummer as well holy shit like uh i don't forget what it was which like it was, was it everything that held together or whatever one of them was just like god damn he just went crazy with the uh his feet went crazy with the double bass with that really cool stuff um yeah really cool symbol work too like regardless um the bass yeah he he was he did his work job as well you know he was pretty good you know he was he's grooving i heard i heard some really cool bass lines in there so yeah overall um very well put together album um probably hmm looking back at their other discography i don't know if it's their best work they've done necessarily um but it's up there like back when i used to listen to them like uh like 2011 or sh and shit like that um i'd say i'd say a lot of it was from their older song because then they kind of dropped off um more like poppier more like kind of mellowed out in a way um and but then they recently came back and it came more heavy um actually yeah I, I will say this is probably uh production wise i'd say that's their best work um so pretty good um is this something i would go back to a lot maybe not maybe not um maybe a few songs uh like kin kintsugao uh, i have that on my um uh, 2024 banger playlist so i'll definitely always go back to that song so there's a few uh, tracks that i liked uh, that i'll probably more, more than willing to go back to um if i had to rate it um i'd say about like maybe 7.8 out of 10 or, or yeah maybe so yeah very close to an eight um so i wouldn't give an eight out of ten necessarily because i've given others and i've liked other albums more so i, th I think that's a pretty valid rating so um yeah fucking like muscle flames maybe they've been killing in the game like since like the warp tour days so uh so it's really cool to see them still around and still pushing out uh you know new tracks and shit um they've gone through a couple few different line lineup changes um i mean the singer's always been there um the uh so they, they always switched out like the drummer i don't know about the other two guitarists i think they've kind of switched out as well so um, but uh, I I really like this lineup, and uh, I really hope they they keep on doing it, keep on going. Four hundred thousand monthly listeners, hey, that's pretty good this day and age. Um, I forgot to follow them, so how dare of me? <laughs> but uh, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Liked what I was hearing.